Welcome to R44 Performance and today we're going to install this valve controller so we can open up the GAE valves to 100%. Welcome back everybody to R44's YouTube channel. Today, we have, oh, should we wrap that thing? All right, we're back. Um, can we just appreciate one thing? My amazing wrapping skills. So the fuse box for the workshop has now been wrapped and it looks 10 times better. Anyways, let's get back to it. So the Della, I don't really know how to pronounce it the best. Della, let's go with that, German. Um, so yeah, this is a valve controller. So BMW, the latest models, uh, in, in particular the G series, have like an active valve kind of for noise pollution and things like that. And these boys and girls have brought out an amazing system that allows you to a flick of a switch, completely open the valves and close them by yourself, as well as they're opening them quite a percentage more. So we're gonna overlay some videos um, showing you the operation on the stock valves compared to these in a moment. But let's get this installed. It's pretty easy. What's in the box is the control unit, the switch with batteries in it, I hope. Um, some Velcro as well, so we can Velcro it into position. Cable ties for cable tie being the loom and a nice box. So yeah, these, we've been selling them for a little bit. They're now online, so the link will be below. Um, get them for your car, we're gonna increase the sound of this R44 performance system, but even the stock system, it will improve the sound quite a bit. So yeah, let's get underneath the car, walk through what we're gonna do and go from there. All right, so we are underneath the car. Um, I'm just looking at positioning for the controller. So you've got these um, plastic kind of bins of such that have nothing in them. The one on the left side, so if you're facing the back of the car, the left-hand side, slightly lower, and then we can get more access in there. So we're gonna put the controller in there. Um, so let's have a look at the loom. It's really long. <laughs> um, so pretty much what we'll do is we'll unclip the valve with my not so good hand. So unclip the valve like that. And then we'll click in the Del R system like so. But what we're gonna do first is mount the system into position or get it up in there now so we know the routing. So just feed it up in there for now. And now we'll separate the two cables, one for the left side and one for the right side. We do do these for the normal F-Series, so these are cap compatible with the F-Series and the G-Series cars. And for the likes of a 140 owner or the new G42 that we're gonna install ours soon, um, you buy on our website the single exit one for single valves. This is dual exit for dual valves. So this connection is gonna be fed through this heat shield here. What I'm gonna do is put some electrical tape on these two so I can feed these through across here. We've got a nice access hole so you can pull it through. Then we'll feed that over here, connect to the valve. So I'm gonna just put some electrical tape around. So we're gonna feed this through. I've just used masking tape, it's the easiest thing. Feed it through. You can see it pops out, easy as that. We won't put too much length in here because what we can do is coil up the loom and the wiring up here and tuck it into this area. So unwrap these bad boys. Simply you've got a female and a male connection. We'll connect the male in here or the male into the female. Listen for that click, make sure it's nice and tight. And then the Del R system goes in here and then push the little gray clip in, so it's locked into position. Um, and then I'm gonna pull this, this back through. I'm gonna, oh, got more light coming in. Um, so now I'm gonna use the cable ties that were provided and just strap this all up nicely. All right, so we're gonna do this left-hand side now, unclip the existing valve connection. Again, click these in, make sure it's the right way around. Listen out for that click. And then we've got the Delar system goes inside here. Make sure that little gray connection clip down, nice and secure. Um, most of cable tied, when we ran through this tunnel here, the heat shield, 
there's the large big hole and then there's two little holes here. I've just put a little cable tie just to stop the wire from rattling around. So let's cable tie this somewhere nice. Um, so as this connection comes up, we'll try not to crimp the cables. Um, try and do something relatively nice without getting any rattle. Cool, so a bit of brake cleaner on a microfiber. Clean the inside of this um, kind of plastic trim so we can get a good connection, like adhesion, if that's a word, uh, for the Velcro. Um, and then we're gonna bundle all this cable in and out and then it is done. So we'll catch you in a minute. I'm gonna stick this up inside with the provided Velcro. on the ram and wow what an improvement so yeah shout out to Dellard they've done a really good job with the performance of the valves the rotation has increased the sounds increased um, so yeah these are on our website r44performance.com got two options one for the single valve cars so like the m light cars and then for dual valves for the m cars uh, f and g series and other cars as well so anyways i'm going to go out and drive this car and enjoy it like subscribe hit that bell button we've got loads more coming